Okay, in this uh, video we're just going to kind of uh, demonstrate the uh, three of the uh, integral formulas involving the arc sine, the arc tan, and the arc secant. So um, we want to try to start recognizing these forms. So A is going to be some constant greater than zero, and uh, we're just going to uh, take the derivative of arc sine of u over a, and u is a differentiable function of x, so we'll use the chain rule. So the derivative of the, this arc sine is going to be, by the chain rule, be u prime over a, divided by um, 1 minus u over a squared with the square root. Okay, we're just rewriting um, u prime over a is 1 over a times u prime. And then here, in the square root, we're going to pull out uh, 1 over a squared. And when we pull 1 over a squared out of a square root, it will just become 1 over a. Uh, because the a is positive, we don't need the, need the absolute value bars. And then we have a squared minus u squared. The 1 over a's will cancel. Okay. So, because I took the derivative of this, and I got this, um, the arc sine of u over a plus c, that is an antiderivative of uh, this, this piece right here. Okay, so that's one of the things we're going to be trying to match in, in uh, uh, this section with trig functions involving integration. Okay, so then that'll be the arc sine of u over a plus your constant of integration. Okay. We're going to look at two other uh, uh, formulas, and um, let's take a look at the next one. All right, let's take a look at another one. Again, we're going to have the uh, constant a be greater than zero. And we're gonna, this time we're going to take the derivative of 1 over a arctan of u over a plus some constant of integration. And we want to show that the derivative of this is going to uh, be something of a form that we'll end up wanting um, a little bit later when we're uh, finding some antiderivatives. Okay. So the 1 over a is just hanging out. The derivative of arctan of u over a is going to be u prime over a. And then in the denominator, 1 plus u over a quantity squared. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that 1 over a up with the other 1 over a. So we'll have 1 over a squared times u prime upstairs. And then uh, we'll factor out a 1 over a squared in the denominator. So we'll have a squared plus u squared. The 1 over a squares will cancel. And we'll have u prime a squared plus uh, u squared, and this is this is the form we're looking for when we're doing all this integration business. Is can we get it to look like that? If we can, then then it's going to be this one over a arctan u over a plus c. Okay. So du over a squared plus u squared. That antiderivative is one over a arctan u over a plus constant integration. Okay, um, and uh, that's just the form we're looking for. Uh, there's a, one other one we're going to look at, and it involves the arc secant. Okay, again, a is greater than zero, so we're going to take the derivative of one over a arc secant absolute value of u over a uh, plus a constant of integration. We're going to take derivative of that. Okay, so when we take the derivative. There are uh, two cases with this one, depending on whether the function u is uh, positive or uh, negative, and it ends up being that it doesn't matter. Um, we get the same thing. So we got one over a u prime over a u over a square root of u over a squared minus one. So in this case, the um, function u is is positive. So we can go ahead and, and drop the absolute value bars. Um, and uh, so we're going to have a 1 over a squared when we combine these two here. And then times u prime divided by. And what happened here is you're going to have an a squared in the denominator. We're going to we're gonna take that out of uh, the, the square root there. And we take the, uh, the square root of something squared. It's going to just become an a and then you already have a pre-existing a there, so that's where we get this a squared from. Okay, then we have the u hanging out there, and then in the square root it's u squared minus a squared. 
that'll be u prime uh, divided by u over, um, sorry, u prime divided by u times the quantity u squared minus a squared. Again, that's for your function u is positive at that particular point. Okay, the other case is where the u is negative, so when we took the absolute value of something that's negative, we introduce a negative in front of it. Okay, so you have 1 over a times u prime over a, and that's that negative there is going to offset the negative because the u function was negative. So that's where that negative comes from. Okay. Normally we have the uh, absolute value bars when we take that derivative, but because in this case up here the u is already positive, we don't need them. Okay. Then when we uh, do the derivative down here, usually it's going to be absolute value of u over a. Um, but because we know the function u is negative, we're going to put a negative in front of that to offset that negative there. Okay, so it'll be negative u over a, and then uh, square root of u over a squared minus 1. Okay, it's going to be identical to the last one. The negatives are going to cancel, and then you're going to have a 1 over a squared upstairs and a 1 over a squared downstairs. Okay, so u prime divided by u, and then uh, square root of u squared minus a squared. And so this is one of the, um, the kind of forms we're looking for um, when we're doing these uh, integrations. So uh, a new form to look for. And just like anything else, it just takes a little practice. And um, the more practice you get, the, uh, the better you are at these.